and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the stock swoosh and I'm reviewing Adobe. On 316, I called the 350 calls that expire this Friday on the options newsletter in Adobe. It worked. I got out of it yesterday. I thought it was a nice exit. Had the push up today. I did not look what this was at today because once I'm out of a trade, I'm done with it. Probably could have doubled my money in this today. But again, in this market, you must book profits. You chunk it, chunk it, chunk it, chunk it, chunk it out. And you can't ignore when you're up 100% in something. You just can't. Not in any market, actually. But this was a nice call. So stock closed here at 333.61. Boom. Gapped up in the morning and opened at 344.57. It ran up. Ran up here nicely. I didn't even call this early, actually. I called this late in the, in the day for me. For me, anyways. Then it ran up here. Then it ran up here. And today was a huge move up. Huge breakout. Actually flew over 375 today. And ran up and and I think I think anyone that was in this should have got out of this today but who knows who knows I mean people could still be in this you never know if the market continues tomorrow this will continue tomorrow but I think you have to make a decision where you're gonna get out of trades with profit I have target numbers in the letter again you have to look at return and investment which are up even 50% is good but there was nothing wrong with this here and I thought Monday was a nice bar you know, and it hit through a couple different numbers, got through that 360 area, ran up more than 10 points to the strike, almost 15. So took profits yesterday and blew out the number today. So someone, people always ask me that. Always get this best exit. No. To say otherwise would be completely unrealistic and no one should expect they're always going to get out of a call at the high and, 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 and a put at the low of any chart or the high of any options chain in a call or put that's just not realistic if you're expecting yourself to do that you're going to lose more than you win you take the trade you get the direction right you get a good uh position on you let it play out and you book profits which is exactly what i do so sometimes i do have phenomenal exits though i do i time it right with the market and everything else i didn't know the market was going to blow it out today that did help this go it was neither here nor there we did it last week like i said on the 16th um but this is one that had a nice move. And if you're on the options newsletter, you got this trade. If you want to sign up for the options newsletter, there's no prerequisites. And that is a subscription service. You can go to my website. I have a six month and 12 month subscription. So I got a question today. Vin asked me, how do I know if I get in, if I'm paying more than you, if I'm paying more, blah, 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 blah. It really doesn't matter if you pay 10 cents, 25 cents, 30 cents more. Sometimes people pay less than I pay. Why? Because I'm interested in getting in these things as quickly as possible. And sometimes the options change, drop around and flip flop in the morning particularly. So I might get a better price if I wait. But the reality is everybody's going to pay a price that's slightly different. It shouldn't matter if the trade goes. This is a great example. If you got in the trade anywhere on Friday, you made money in this, you could not have lost. Do I think people should take trades hours and hours after I call them? No, no, I don't. So you should take the trade if you get the email, if the market's open, you know, when you get it or a couple of minutes, 10, 15 minutes after you get it. If you get it in the pre-market, you can't take it till the open. Again, you can wait 5, 10, 15 minutes. Things are spreading in the morning. You should not take a trade if I send it at 10 a.m. at 3.30. That's ridiculous. That I would not do, okay? But if a trade goes, because we're trading momentum, it's gonna be positive. Whether you pay a little bit more, a little bit less, it's not gonna matter. We're not trading for pennies. We're trading for dollars. We're trading with momentum. We're looking for the momentum. You had it in Adobe. This ran up 26 points through the strike within four days' time. So, And it still could go higher. Again, I think today was a phenomenal exit if people were still in it today to get it up. I don't know why you'd still be in this, but you, again, somebody might be. So a nice call here and a good explanation why don't worry about the exact price you're going to pay. If the trade's going to work in your direction in the time it's going to go, it's not going to matter. You're going to make money. We're looking to make dollars. We're not looking to make little little dinky bits. And again, this is about accuracy in the directional bias, looking at the gap and getting the momentum. So I'm trading momentum. Could be up, could be, could be down. Strange as it is, this was a long. Again, we did this as a long as a day trade too, but it was really a really nice trade as a call, especially if you held it till today. So we'll see. We'll see where we go tomorrow, see where the market goes tomorrow. If you're interested in signing up for the Gap Options newsletter, email me, Melissa, at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day.